Alright, so perhaps I'm a little bit late to the party on a Bakasura rant, but you know it's bad when our default way to refer to the god in our group is fucking Pub Stompasura. If you guys do enjoy the video, then subscribe for more and consider becoming a channel member with the join button below, because lord knows I'm getting zero ad revenue on this one, boys. So, me and one of my friends that's a jungle main have pretty frequent discussions, probably better called fits of rage, about what the best way to build Bakasura is between Hasten Katana or Golden Blade Rush. But in reality, how you build him matters less than God Bounce does to high res. You'll stomp any game you want just by farming early and then puking on the entire enemy team with your acid reflux auto attacks and getting a free pentakill. I think Bakasura single-handedly makes me envy arena and assault mains. The pure unfiltered joy I would get from insta-clearing a minion wave in either of those game modes to stop my Bakasura chowing down would probably be worth queuing up for them on its own. But anyone who plays Conquest, and from what I've heard, Duel as well, will probably share my hatred of this jolly little feaster bunny. So Bakasura is heavily auto attack focused, but also melee, so for him to really do anything, you need to get in close and hold that left click. So in my infinite wisdom and knowledge of smite, I buy him a Guardian Male and Hide of the Nemean Lion, and VEL spam the shit out of any pub stompasura I see. Great idea, right? Yeah, it would be, except no matter how much defense you buy against this cunt, you're always taking at least 70 true damage on every auto attack. Cause true damage is always fun and a well received mechanic, right King Arthur? Since Baka basically always has at least 2.0 attack speed, you're getting out 12 auto attacks in the 6 seconds that Butcher's Blade lasts for. Now, I'm no Fibonacci, but 12 lots of 70 is fucking 840 damage that can't be mitigated or countered in any way. And we're not even adding in the regular base damage of those 12 autos, plus the 33 physical power he gets just by having this ability. It doesn't even have to be active, just by virtue of having the ability in your kit, you get 33 power. Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? Oh, and if that wasn't enough for you, basically every Bakasura in existence buys kin size, so you're taking another 36% of your maximum health in damage if you're a squishy just from this item alone. So assuming 2000 damage, yeah, you're taking 720 damage just from an item passive. But that's when we're just talking about a squishy. Any tank mains may want to mute the video right now because this next part might be considered psychological torture. Kin size against tanks deals 5% max health damage. So 12 autos of that is fucking 60% of your maximum health just from an item, assuming you have at least 3000 health. So 60% of 3000 health is 1800 damage. Yeah, you're taking 1800 damage just from an item passive on top of his base auto attack damage and Butcher's Blade true damage. Now granted, that's of course not true damage like with the Butcher's Blade, so you will mitigate some of it, but given Bakasura's itemization into Heavy Penetration like Executioner and Stone Cutting Sword, you're still getting fisted by this guy even if you're a tank. So let's just do some quick maths here and add up all the shit I just listed. So each auto attack from Bakasura is dealing 60 base damage at level 20, plus 100% of your physical power, which at full build with Butcher's Blade's passive will assume is around 250, so 310 base damage plus 70 true damage from Butcher's Blades, 380, plus 5% of 3000 health, another 150 damage. So we're at 530 damage per auto attack, some of which is unmitigatable and deals true damage. 12 auto attacks in the 6 seconds of Butcher's Blade totals out at, fuck, 6360 damage. And that can also be an AoE with his ultimate and with Golden Blade. Another way you could look at this is 2 auto attacks per second at 530, so 1060 DPS just from holding left click and W. So much fucking skill boys, I really love this god, I, I, I truly do. So even a thick boy dies in about 3 or 4 seconds to the might of Pub Stompasura. If you're still not convinced this guy's Hitler's secret grandson, then I'm not sure what more I can do for you. But that's enough ranting for one day. As always, if you enjoyed or found this funny, then drop me a rating and subscribe for more rants, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Have a great day, and peace out you nerds.